clickbait title. We are definitely not number one. Hello, anyone, everyone, and welcome to the week I review. My name is Alec Kubismeyer, and today I want to talk about Amtrak, the only real train service in America. For many years, my go-to travel method when visiting family for the holidays was Peter Pan buses. I was never really a fan, but it was affordable. Since getting a day job, I have largely switched over to Amtrak, which has been a general quality of life improvement for those trips. But don't let that fool you, because while that statement is definitive, it is also relative as heck. One of the worst mornings of my life, for reasons not relevant to this review, took place in Tokyo early last year. The bad part of it ended with me on the Nozomi Shinkansen from Tokyo to Kyoto. It was the fastest bullet train in Japan, and thus anywhere. Looking out the window, even in my horrendously bad state, was a thrilling experience. Watching Japan zoom by like that was amazing. And the ride was as smooth as Alien Ant Farm's criminals. <laughs> Truly, a travel experience unlike any I have had before. To then come back to America and jump on an Amtrak train was more than a little disheartening. Here I think of trains as the least bad option, rather than the actual best. Cars don't give you any freedom of movement, but they give you more or less unlimited freedom to just pull over and stop being in them at any point. Buses typically have a little more space and you don't have to drive them, but you're limited by schedules. The smoothness of both rides is outside of their control though and entirely at the whims of American infrastructure and other drivers. Are the roads all right? Is there hella traffic? Probably not and almost certainly yes, respectively. During holiday weekends, even more so, traveling in or out of New York City? Inevitably. The seemingly endless start and stop and start and stop of wheeled vehicles is exhausting, and I hate it. Throw in the cramp nature, and it's really something I avoid whenever possible, though sometimes I just can't afford the nicer option. This past weekend being Thanksgiving, I traveled one way. I took Amtrak from the hellhole that is New York Penn Station, seen here at something resembling capacity. On the way back, I took a bus, having waited a little bit too long to buy the tickets. That wasn't great. A supposedly three and a half hour trip was a full hour longer. My real problem is the bouncing. It's something that you rarely do on a train because if somehow you started bouncing, it would likely mean that the train had left the track and you would die and the last thing you would be talking about was the fact that you had felt a little bit of up and down. Even when they're a little bit rougher as Amtrak trains are versus those in European or Asian countries, the result of moving trains is swaying, you know, and side to side is fine. Certainly Ariana Grande seems to have no problem with it. Up and down is just less so. Plus, train cars are a bit more open, especially in my preferred spot, the cafe car. I'm always a little surprised that more people don't go for that. Only three of the few dozen times I've taken Amtrak have I not been able to get a seat there. There's more room, since you can typically sit just one person per side of the booth, and the shorter seat backs and typical lack of overhead storage leave a lot more negative space. I can get up and walk without bumping into people. And without adjustable seats, I can write this review without worrying about some guy in front of me jacking the seat back and warping my laptop screen. From personal experience, I have written many reviews in the cafe car of Amtrak's Northeast Regional. I tried rewriting some of it on the bus, but that didn't work out super well. 
The regional is slower and therefore cheaper than the fancier Acela, but really the Acela seems to be faster mostly as a consequence of taking fewer stops and not because the train itself is that much better. The regional ride is a little bit rougher, but neither that nor the better seats and slightly shorter trips really justify the added expense for someone who isn't particularly wealthy and only takes the train every few months, i.e me. If this was a frequent occurrence that I could expense to a business, I mean, hell yeah, I'd go for the Acela, but for a middle-class schmuck like myself, the regional is fine. Timeliness in general is something of a concern, though. I have found that Amtrak trains are typically 10 to 15 minutes late over the course of a three-hour, 30-ish trip. Sometimes they're entirely on time, and others, not so much. Once, we sat motionless for over an hour because some rando was on the tracks and refused to leave. I was in the cafe car watching Gravity Falls, so it was fine, except that it meant I got home at 1 a.m. and had work in the morning, which wasn't my favorite. That also wasn't their fault. The other ones were. But I get less frustrated by long train rides than I do long bus rides or car rides. The fact that I can get up and walk a bit helps. The views are much nicer. I mean, there's a lot more length to the train, and so a trip to the bathroom at the other end of a train car is more walking than you could ever really do on a bus. And have you ever been in a bus bathroom or tried to use one in New York City traffic? Good golly. But it can't be divorced from the reality of Amtrak. It's the best of bad options, but that doesn't make it good, let alone great. The prices are high, especially when compared to other countries that do it better, and the trains are fine. But no one writes home about their experience on Amtrak because it's never anything special. I'm fortunate to live in an area that is serviced reasonably well by it. In most parts of the country, that just isn't the case. The U.S. doesn't put the money behind a rail system that it would need to to make it a truly competitive and compelling experience. And it's sad, because trains are awesome, but not these. 6.6 .6 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, that is great. If not, I'm sorry. I hope to see you next week.